In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly use the disk cleanup tool that's built into Windows 10. Hi, I'm John Grubb from 4kcc.com. We publish computing related videos all the time and we don't want you to miss any of them. So if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell. If you're already subscribed, thanks for coming back. Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you the proper way to use the Windows 10 disk cleanup tool. Now granted, there are third party tools for cleaning up Windows 10 and some of them are pretty decent. For the average user, you can probably use the disk cleanup tool and be just fine. So let's get started. In the search bar at the bottom, I'm going to type disk. Now, as you can see, disk cleanup appears immediately at the top for me. However, that's because I run it fairly frequently. So if you've never run it, you may have to continue typing to get the app to appear. And if that's the case, just space and clean up. The app is at the top. I will click on it. The first thing that the app will do is ask you which drive do you want to clean up. If your computer has multiple drives, they would be listed in this drop down menu. In this case, I want to clean up the drive that contains Windows. That's the C drive for me. So I click OK. First, the app calculates how much space it can save, and then this window pops up. Now, I've run this several times, so I don't have a lot, but this is not where I want you to clean up. This first window that comes up, that's not the one we want. Notice what's in the window, downloaded program files, temporary internet files, and some other things, the recycle bin, temporary files, thumbnails. I want to be able to clean up more files on my machine than just those. To do that, I click on clean up system files. Once again, the app asks me which drive do I want to look at. Again, I'm going to say the C drive, which is where Windows is. And once again, it will recalculate how much space it would be able to free up. Once it's recalculated, what appears to be the same window pops up. However, notice that the very first thing now is Windows Update Cleanup. That particular one alone is often very big. Now, right now, for me, it's only 55 megs, but the last time that I checked it, it was 8 gigabytes. I'm going to put a check mark there. Windows Upgrade Log Files, that's almost a gig. I'm going to put a check mark there. And Delivery Optimization Files, that's a half a gig. I don't need those. And I could pick anything I want. Temporary files, that's very small. And temporary window installation files is very small, but I can pick as much as I want. Now I click OK. It asks me, am I sure I want to permanently delete them? I'm going to click on Delete Files. And now it will run. Depending how many you have to delete, um, it could be very quick or it could take a while. Last night I did this on a customer's computer and they had never run the program and it took about 20 minutes for the program to clean up all of the files that it could delete. When it's done, it will just disappear. It'll be gone like you see now. That's it for this video. I hope you've learned how to properly use the disk cleanup tool in Windows 10. Just a reminder, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks and have a great day.